Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel on popular demand. In this video, we are going to cover this tiny version of DeepSeek's VL2 model. We already have covered the small flavor of this model and that was one of the best vision language model for the last couple of weeks, I would say. So I'm quite excited to check out how this tiny model looks like. We are going to install it from scratch. Now, if you have been following my channel, you know that we have been covering deep sea from various angles in depth and also from various point of views, not only technical, but also non-technical one. So this deep seek vision model not only excels in OCR, also it is quite good in visual question answering and visual grounding. This model series is composed of three variants, VL to tiny, VL to small and the simple VL to model. Tiny is simply 1 billion parameter, small is 2.8 billion parameter and the VL2 is 4.5 billion activated parameter respectively. The difference between these models is primarily the base model. This DeepSeek VL2 Tiny is built on DeepSeek Mixture of Experts 3 billion parameter model and as I said only 1 billion are activated. There are a lot of other things um, which are happening in this model too which we will see as we go along during this video. So let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. Let me also give a thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website plus a discount coupon of 50% which you can readily find on the channel. So let me run this and for tiny one, I will be using the GPU card of NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM which you can see on screen. I will also show you shortly. But if you are using small or the other VL, the larger VL2 model from DeepSea, they also recommend you can use it uh, on 80 GPU of VRAM. But I have also tried the small one on 48 GPU of VRAM and it works. So even, but for the VL2, the larger one, it doesn't. Anyway, so let me quickly show you my GPU card. So this is the one A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Now you can also rent it as I said earlier from Mast Compute. Let me clear the screen. Okay, let me git clone the repo of this DeepSeek VL2. And that should be done. And now let's install all the prerequisites from the root. And it is going to take a couple of minutes. While that happens, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPort. iGenPort lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in the video's description. Everything is installed. Let me now launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's first download the model and we are simply using the transformers library to get this tiny model with its tokenizer. And the model is being downloaded. There is only one shard which is just under 7 gig I believe. That is quite good, not bad. Let's wait for it to finish downloading. And while you are downloading it, you might also get all of these messages. So don't get worried, all of these warnings. So these are about because I have been using Python 3.11 and it works with that but i think python 3.10 might be more suited or 3.9 anyway so but i would prefer to go with 3.11 okay so let's wait okay so the model has been downloaded let's try to do the inference with it and this is the inference code which i'm using as you can see where we are opening this local image this is the image i'm checking first and this is a custom code now this code i will um, also give you the link maybe i will put it in the patreon link where you can access it you won't be able to find it uh, in their github repo i have to do a lot of troubleshooting and changes in it to get it working uh, but i will um, try to put all the code in one go in one location and then you see that i am just preparing the input here passing the embeddings out and temperature I'm using 0.7 as mentioned in the repo and then printing out the response. So this is the image. I already just ran it. So let's see what it shows. It shows 
that the image depicts a brown bear standing in shallow water near a rocky shore. The bear's fur appears wet, very nice, suggesting it may have been swimming or wading through the stream. Look at the quality of the sentence. Its mouth is slightly open, revealing its teeth and it seems alert or possibly vocalizing, very nice. The background is lush with greenery indicating a natural, possibly forested habitat. The lighting suggests it might be daytime and the overall scene conveys a sense of wilderness and the bear's interaction with its environment. Pretty cool, I would say. Very, very fine answer. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure about the rocky shore though, but we will take it. That's fine. Okay, let's try out a few more. Okay, next up, let's see if it can detect the time on this clock. Let me run this. And I'm also going to check the VRAM here. So it is consuming just touch over 13 gig of VRAM as you can see here. Okay, so that is not that bad, I would say. And it has detected the time quite well. 10.09, 10.10, I think that's perfectly well. Awesome. Okay, next up, I'm asking it what is this location. Now, this is quite a hard one. And I just ran it. It says the location is in the ancient city of Anas. Located in the Ganges plain, plains of India. That is not correct. That is um, in Pakistan. That is a Texla, which is uh, Gandhara civilization. So, but it's a hard one. And there are many, many um, structures like this throughout that region. So, I think we could just let this one go. Let's try out another one. Next up, I'm going to ask it about this location. This is one of the best, um, my favorite, I would say cathedral in the world this is in vienna in austria or wien as they call it let's try it out there you go st stephen's cathedral in vienna awesome stuff okay next up i am giving it this location which is primarily singapore and i am asking it how can i get to this location from patia thailand let's see there the so there is thailand malaysia and singapore let's see what it says it says from Patia, you can take a taxi or bus to reach this location. No, I don't think it's a good one. Maybe I'll change the prompt a bit. And there you go. All I have done is I have just added this line. Make the response detailed and let me go down. And there you go. So it says that to reach this location from uh, Patia, Thailand. That's good. And then it is talking about Walker Drive. That is not and then it is talking about Marina Bay Sand. So it has identified that destination too. Good stuff. Not bad. You know, remember it's a tiny model, yet the quality is quite good. Next up, I'm giving it this image and I'm trying to check out its OCR. Now I'm making it a bit harder for the model. So I'm asking it to extract the text only in bold or extract only bold text. Let's try out this prompt. We can change it afterwards. And look at this, it says Meta Rewarding Iterative Training Scheme. How good is that? How good is the model? Amazing stuff. Okay, let's try to do the multilingual. Well, I don't think so. It is multilingual. You see, it was unable to identify the Arabic it, uh, text. It identified the language but couldn't identify the text, which is fine. And let's try out. Maybe I'll just go with Chinese one here. There is also a Chinese one, which I normally show. Let me also show you the image too. should be here. This is the one I'm going to test. Let me run in front of you. There you go. Yeah, I think Chinese looks quite good. The Hansi script. Yep, looks quite good. And let's quickly check the Persian too. I know that it won't be able to do the Persian one, but would it be, sorry, would it be able to do uh, recognize the language so I'm just clicking here and there okay there you go yep so it was able to detect the Persian script let's not worry about the OCR but language detection is there it's not I think it's just Chinese and English and now let's do the handwriting one so if I just make it here now it says that my handwriting in exams First two pages, global warming is definitely a very huge issue in front of this entire world. Very nice. 
it's causing several disturbances you see disturbances amazing stuff in the middle pages also we carry also we carry I even i can't try to read it meltdown yes of glove and machine the ocean some doctor has written it definitely palliated i have no idea what that says and then last two pages but look remember tiny model and look at the quality of OCR. One of the viewer was quite keen to check out those here. Um, I hope that he's happy with it now. I think this one is quite good. Okay, let's try out a few others. Okay, next up I'm going to give this image, which is an AI generated one, of course, and I'm asking the model which girl is prettier in this image. Let's see what model thinks. And model says first two pages why okay model does it give us want to give us answer you know what i'm going to change my prompt a bit no you know sorry my my bad my bad i just didn't give it the image let's try again the girl on the right is prettier in this image okay that's good maybe due to uh, the fact that model might have think that this is a malformation anyway but quite a good answer i would say so i'm going to make it slightly harder so i'm asking it which girl is prettier or both images are of same girl and model says both images are of the same girl that's good one okay next up i'm giving it a black and white image and i'm asking it which city is this and which year this image was taken so this is my own city and it says the city is not identifiable from the image that is funny it's i mean anyone can tell which image is that or maybe i'll change the prompt let me change the prompt here you know what uh, shame on me again my mistake i didn't give it the proper name so city dot let me change it here okay let's run it now what did it i do now Oh, I didn't give the proper path. My apologies. So let's run it. There you go. Now it is able to identify that it was taken in Sydney, Australia. And it didn't just simply ignored my question about the year because model doesn't think it's relevant. Now let's see if it can do the table one. So I am giving it this tabular image. And I'm going to ask it which model consumes most memory. And as I have run it, it says Moon Dream 2 billion int 8. There you go. And totally correct. So it can very, very finely do the table analysis and all that stuff. And finally, I'm going to ask it a question which no model to date has been able to answer me. So I'm going to ask it how many birds are there in this image. There are in total 13. So let's see if this model can answer me correctly 11 so it also got it wrong that is fine we will wait for the next model so what do you think about this model i think one of the best models i have seen in some time in this size i would say in tiny size but let me know your thoughts if you're interested in the small one just search my um, channel if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps Thank you for watching.